So look what my brother got, my older brother. He got a loot crate and then there's an outing. So you may get to do something. First time opening it, so you're gonna see what I see. Let me get this open. Alrighty. Oh, you get to meet Bumblebee. My nephew is going to flip out. He loves Bumblebee Transformer. Let me get a Fallout Finder Peak thing. You get a Don't Know t shirt with some. Maybe it's a bumblebee thing. Uh, I don't know. <gasps> no way! Escape from New York. Oh, I know that actor. I watch him all the time. Oh, cool! You open it up and there's pins in there. Okay. <gasps> this is called Lost in space. Oh, I like that pin. Oh, cool. And then you get loot crates book. Tells you what everything is. This. And of course this. Fred all thing. And then a gift. Ooh. I'm not going to show you the code, but it's a HelloFresh $60 gift card. Ooh, we should try HelloFresh. That would be so cool to try. Be like all the other YouTubers. And then there's a cool thing inside that my nephew is going to die for. He's going to flip on this box. This is all I can get. Like a t-shirt. That's the little thing you get. I'm not a fall out fan, so I don't know. Well, yeah, there's the pin you get. My nephew would definitely love the bumblebee pin. And if my brother wants this stuff. Oh, you get an eye patch. Oh, oh there's you get an eye patch. Oh, you get the poster or an eye patch, I think. Hey, there's something about Fantastic Beast and Harry Potter. Brother should get that for me. It's my birthday. That's my birthday. I'm gonna have to cut that guy from the nephew. And there's a lot more stuff. So yeah, that's all we got in this one today. The Hello Fresh thing. We should do that. We should do that. So tell me what you think of this loot crate. The Bumblebee version. Okay, the reason why there's not an eye patch is because they leave you a little lovely note that tells you if you flip through the month guide, it's pretty great. You might have noticed that the Escape from New York cosplay eye patch is MIA from your crate. Well, after the guide went to print, we found out that there were some product issues se seriously delaying the eye patch. They were, unfortunately. Rather than delay your, cr your crate, we'll be adding the eye patch to your January crate, so make sure to keep an eye out. You're, we're sorry for the guide mix up but we think you're going to love your and that's the theme but what if you didn't buy the January loot crate that's not fair that's the show my brother says it's from Dungeons and Dragons how they used to come in sets like that making little toys Another old, old SRL camera from back in the day that I got from a pawn shop that didn't work for very long. Very heavy. <sighs> got another camera. This time it's a Kodiak. And it took regular batteries. And it took some really huge SD cards. Crazy. I should just play these somewhere. Then remember this. Use it for your 
iPod. Paper. This could be my intro. Why can't vlog? Why can't vlog? Here's a picture we took of Woods of Fun. I think it's Woods of Fun, or maybe it's Six Flags. Right after the monsoon, or that thing comes down. And it shows you that everybody's on the bridge waiting to get wet, because that's where you get the soakest. Then, I'm thinking it's Six Flags because this next picture is from Six Flags up on a Ferris wheel, where you're inside of a little cage. And that's what you can see from the very top. You can see a roller coaster, the longest roller coaster, and I don't know what else. If this clip is too dark, I'll insert the photos here. So this is a Mardi Gras squished penny that I did when I was in New Orleans. I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty dirty, so yeah. So these are my two games that I found from my Game Boy that doesn't work anymore. My favorite game which is Paperboy and then Dr. Mario that was my least favorite. So that's pretty cool. Prom Night. What a good movie. It's an older version. Really good scary movie. Okay, I have to show you an old Magic Kingdom, Walt Disney World cup that I got from when I went to Magic Kingdom, Disney World. Isn't that magical? Here are some of my Beanie Babies. Got Mickey and Minnie. Flamingo, Monkey, and Pig. Hi Pig Gamer! Just kidding! <laughs> Here is Buzzsaw Falls, Silver Dollar City mug when I went to Silver Dollar City. I got one of these. So ain't that cool. Do you remember that from Bug Juice Highlander Season 2 when Tiffany was handing these out to the girls? I have one. And I didn't get it because it's of that. I don't know how I ended up with this. I just found it one day going, oh my god, that's like the boat juice episode. Three ninjas kicked back. VHS. I have the DVDs now, so. This was when they went to Japan to help their grandfather out. And then we got Willow on VHS, but not DVD. Girl. Don't know where this clown came from. Missing his feet and one of his, nope, it's got both on fingers, just missing his shoes, which are blue. Don't know where I got this. I had this on my uh, Game Boy. It's a sticker camera. It's a camera that we print out photos that I took with stickers. Cool! Aladdin sticker! Some artwork that I came up with back in the day. A dress, a shirt, another dress. Um, this little dude. It says 97 on the back, and then this one's from also 97 that I made. I made butterfly, caterpillar, cat, a mouse, a dog, a bird, a queen, another type of dog, a turtle, unicorn, a dragon, 
I don't remember how I drew these, to be honest. And if you want to get really fancy, Why the fuck would you ban fucking straws from restaurants? That is fucking stupid. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna sip out of a fucking cup that someone else has drank out of like a million times. That's disgusting. Because I do clean cups at my work. And I know how they're clean. They're not clean very well. So I'd rather have a straw to make sure I'm not getting bacteria and sick. So I think it's stupid to ban straws. I could have done told y'all that the Enquirer is not a magazine you should trust. The Enquirer always makes up lies about people. Saying Livia Newton-John has weeks to live and that she's about to die and that her kidneys are failing. She's right there saying, nope, she's 110% doing great. And is, and is not going to die anytime soon. So... Yeah, don't believe everything you read in magazines, especially the Enquirer. Why would you make up such a lie saying that Lady Newton-John's going to die in weeks because of her cancer? Why would you make up such lies just to get people to read your shit? That is so just unconsiderate.